Kurds in Turkey watch the Islamic State movement attack the city of Kobani, just across the border in Syria, while Turkish armor stands by. Ankara's strategy is not to intervene. Kobani is defended by Kurds linked to the PKK, Kurdish Workers' Party, which Ankara considers a terrorist organization. Turkish policy is to remove Syrian President Bashar al-Assad from power, but it won't help Kurdish forces fighting ISIL. A local Kurd warns, if Turkey stays silent, there'll be war in every corner of Turkey, with death and destruction. It's already started. People will start attacking soldiers and police. There could be a major massacre. The Kurds in Turkey have been clashing with security forces for several days. Different sources give the Kurdish population in Turkey as 15 to 25 million. They demand Ankara Act in Kobani. Imprisoned PKK leader Abdullah Ocalan says failure to do so places a 2012 peace process at risk. And yet all the demonstrating and warnings of a backlash have not affected Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's rhetoric. He says Turkey does not determine its domestic and foreign policy based on the violent acts of terrorists and drifters. Those puppets and the leaders who pull their strings should be aware that Turkey won't be intimidated by street protests and change direction. What will it take to get a change in direction from NATO member Turkey? Erdogan's condition is a no-fly buffer zone on the Syrian side of the border. This should, in theory, serve to limit the combat spillover risk and allow Turkey to control the Syrian Kurds and their firepower. The PKK and Turkish government forces have been fighting each other for most of the past 30 years over self-rule, with 45,000 dead in the process and a heavy weight on resources. Ankara doesn't want an independent Kurdistan set up on its eastern frontier. Ankara has called for Western reinforcement on the ground against the radical Islamic State, but won't let the Kurds of Turkey cross the border to help Kobani's Kurds. Ankara's priority is not to defeat ISIL, but to oust Assad.